Hi everyone, I'm your host, Dr. Terry Haddad, Vice President of Community Initiatives at Community Services for Children. Welcome to the Parent Project Podcast. This work stems from our vision for an engaged community where every child thrives and every family succeeds. CSC has been serving families for over 50 years, and we know that parenting can be hard. We're inviting local doctors, teachers, counselors, social workers, and other experts to provide perspectives to help parents maneuver the sometimes challenging role of parenting. Joining us today is Susan Laterra. She is the director of Lehigh County Integrated Services. She's been a practicing social worker for over 35 years. Sue is one of the very first people trained at Lehigh County nearly 20 years ago in family group decision-making and family finding. So today, Sue's joining us to talk to us about family group decision-making. Thanks for joining us, Sue. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to learn more about uh, what family group decision-making is all about. I am so excited that you invited me to come because this year we celebrate 20 years of utilizing family group decision-making here in Lehigh County. Um, Family group decision-making primarily comes out of our child welfare system. Uh, It's a practice that recognizes the role and long tradition that families have the best understanding of how to care for their members. Um, It is a way to bring families together to make plans and decisions for their children. And so isn't that something families do naturally or no? Absolutely. Um, And that's where this practice comes from. When we, uh, the practice actually comes from New Zealand and uh, it started there uh, and branched into the rest of Europe and then into the United States. And that's how it came to us uh, back in 2003. Uh, A fellow by the name of Jim Knight came to Lehigh County, trained us and said, listen, why don't you reach out to families? They know best how to meet the needs of their children. And so family group decision-making is uh, a process where a coordinator uh, meets with families and almost acts as though that person is a party planner. And they say, um, hey, we know that there are some struggles in your family right now. How can we help you get all the important people in your children's lives to come together to help support you as a family, make a plan to meet the needs of your children. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Somebody, Mm -hmm. I mean, they get everybody together, get all the perspectives. Mm -hmm. Are they like a mediator or Um, collaborator? So the coordinator is just the person who works to pull the meeting together. Uh, Meetings are held where families usually have gatherings, uh, churches, uh, fire halls, uh, places like that where they might have baby showers and celebrations. Um, There's uh, time to even allow the family to have a a meeting, um, a meal together. Because when you think about, I could think of my own family, how did we ever make decisions? Even if it was to figure out how to um, have a 4th of July picnic. It was around the kitchen table, usually lots of food, and then everybody would get together and figure out what they were going to do. And that's family group decision-making. So that coordinator helps the family uh, identify who's all there, which doesn't always mean it's just blood. It could be the next door neighbor, the teacher, the coach, the pastor. Um, And identify when, where, and then professionals are invited as well because they often offer assistance uh, to the family, uh, resources that may be available that the family can um, choose to to reach out to. Um, and then there's time for the family to have be alone with no one else but themselves, make a plan. Initially, that plan would be presented to uh, child welfare because that's where the model started was uh, how to help families that would come in contact with children and youth. Um, But now families might hear about family group decision making from anyone in the child serving system, from schools, 
guidance counselors, uh, mental health providers, because, again, we recognize that the best people to make decisions that knows best are families. Tell me about the successes. I mean, I know it's a successful model, but what kind of problems get solved? So it could be anything. It could be uh, families that might have a problem getting children to school. And we can't figure out uh, mom has to be at work. Maybe dad has to be at work. We can't figure out uh, who to have home when the children get home from school. We could bring families together and maybe Aunt Sue could be there after school. Maybe we could get them into an after school program. Uh, Maybe Uncle Tom could uh, drive them to the dentist after school so that mom doesn't have to leave early. Um, There could be all kinds of things. It could be um, we've had situations where family group decision making was used to uh, help families that might be unsheltered at the time. Um, They're looking at possible evictions and how all the important people in the life of a family can come together to help solve problems. So that Larger systems don't. So families don't have to reach out necessarily to other big agencies, for example. Uh, And sometimes families just need help coordinating and collaborating among each other. So, Well, I can see that you're passionate about about this program and that you really believe in the benefits to families and children. Is there anything else we should tell our listeners about this program? How do they find Mm -hmm. out more? If at any time someone would be interested in exploring how family group decision making could help their family, um, keep their children safe, uh, uh, get services and supports together, what have you, all they need to do is to reach out. They could call me and get services. Uh, They could call Lehigh County Children and Youth um, to request uh, help. Uh, So they could talk to their guidance counselor, the school teacher, their outpatient provider um, about how family group decision making might help them. Very good. Well, thanks again for being here. And we look forward to having you back sometime real soon. Great. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you for listening. To learn more about the Parenting Project podcast, Project Child, or Community Services for Children, please visit csceinc.org.